Hello. In this w video, we're going to be talking about software wallets and how to create your own. So, I'm all, I'm in, and also in regards to that, I'm introducing the Xum app. So, a software wallet, you can, so a pretty cool app you can install on your phone. So, then let's dive right into it. So, the first thing we need is we have to go to the browser and or also go to the app store and enter in the URL xum.app. Then you can go click here on the Play Store, you can also access it directly in the Play Store and obviously say install. So that shouldn't be new to you, so obviously I know that you know how to handle your phone. So after you've downloaded it, you open the app obviously, and then let's quickly get over it. So we can see here, it's so payments on the Expo Ledger. We have to set up a passcode. This passcode is only bound to your phone, so this passcode is not important. Uh, yes, it's just important for the app, but not for the XP Ledger account. So I'm just using one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we can see here the Xamarin app is a non-custodial wallet, so it's a software wallet, and you are in charge of your own keys. Meaning that if you lose your keys, you will not have access to your funds ever again. Uh, right, you have to keep your secret safe. Uh, you have to write them down, but you should also Back up them offline so that you will write it down, jot it down, but you shouldn't share it with anyone because these are the ma master keys that can access your account. Again, the transactions are permanent, so meaning that if you do a transaction, you cannot roll it back. So that's that's the ba general idea with, with permissionless transactions. So your funds live on the Exit Ledger, meaning that your account balance is on, written down in the public blockchain. It's not on your phone, but your phone has the access to the uh, to the XRP account. So let's go on. Never share your secret. Yes, that's also a great idea. So not to do, so a great thing. So you should never share your secret because if you share it with somebody else, that person could could import that account and access all your funds, and it would be most likely will be gone. When you change your phone, get another phone, whatever for security reasons. Someone will ask you to import all your accounts using the account secrets again. Right. So that's the same thing here. You just have to re-import all your accounts using the secrets. And if yeah right, so you can also contact the support there. So these are the basic things. Some app also only wants to understand before you can use it. And let's get right get started. So we have to accept the terms of service. You can see what is new. And let's start right here. So we can then add an account. We can create a new one, which we'll be doing together quickly. So here, uh, here's the XAM format. So it's a different format here. We can see here lots of numbers because in this case the secret is generated differently. So it's basically uh, all the same, but it's just easier for end users having these numbers. So you have. So I'm not. So I'm going to write it down here digitally, but I would recommend writing them down physically. Maybe also digitally, but not at least not online. So they should be stored somewhere safe, maybe encrypted file, or also uh, never stored online or something like that. So you have to think about it yourself. So you can copy now all the numbers from the rows. So you just go on with all of that. And then the horrible part will start uh, with entering all of that. So that's the only thing I didn't like about creating my account because it was very, uh, very painful. So we'll, you will see it soon. So you have to just write all of that down. So this this represents your family seed. I hope I'm not mistaken right now because so that's basically your access code. Okay. So w with these numbers, so you could use them and get into this account here. So now comes the horrible part because we'll have to enter all of it here. And I can only use up and down. I can't enter it, can I? No, I can't. So it's one. <laughs> Uh, so this, this is going to take some time, so 9, 7, so I'm going to skip that and I'm just going to pause the the uh, the record, record. So I'm almost done here, so 0, 8, 3, 7, ah, 8, 3, okay. So almost done here. So after being done with all of that, we can confirm here. So we can see here my new public address. And uh, next is then we can say stun standard access and right, so let's go on here. We could also so just better for long term storage, XP and token request. So we can also use an extra password. So I'm just gonna call this account spending in this case, and we're all set here. So the only thing you would have to do in this case would be you would just have to send this is in your new XRP address. And if you send uh, more than 20 XRP, the account gets activated and then you can use it. 
but I'm not gonna do it here. I just want to go with, through with you for all the steps. But one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna import. So let's go over the case if you want to import an account. If you want to import an account, you can do two things. You can say read only, so you can just enter a random account address. Uh, and, and if you want to do even sign and send transactions, you have to go to full access. And you've got three different ways of importing an account. You can use the mnemonic 12, 16, 24 words, the family seed, or the secret numbers. So I'm just going to quickly generate an account here, uh, which I'm going to be importing. Note, uh, I'm going to show you this feature here off in the next video, probably. Um, just one account which contains XR and whatever. So let's quickly start. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Yes, I'm just going to take any account basically. So let's, as you can see here, I've just generated a few accounts here. And I'm, for example, want that one. And I've got here the family secret. So I'm going to copy that. And if you want to import your account, you can uh, do it, with, for example, with the secret. So as before, this, this was, was the part we wrote down before. So we can do it with that important account, but also with the family seed. And in this case, I've got a family seed here, which I generated. And I can also use that to import my account. So I'm just going to paste it there, go to next. And we've got that account here, the RXCF account, which I imported successfully. So we also saw that we can easily import accounts then here. I'm just going to call it R RXC, why not? So, or whatever, let's call it test account. I'm going to call it test. And I'm also start with that account. So you can switch the accounts here. And the best part about the exam app would be also like the integration with the XRP toolkit, for example. So you can just go to scan QR code, which doesn't work right now because I don't have it. But we can quickly try it though. Maybe I am able to like, let's see, can it somehow feed data to camera? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Probably not. So I would have to look it up for the next video. But basically it was all the, so the cool thing is as soon as you're set up, so this is just software account you can recreate it. You could also, for example, import other accounts. So you can also import your account using a mnemonic. So also from another software wallet and also use it then. And right, what else is there to tell you about this app? So the profile thing is just coming, is, is, is still on its way. You can see here the events, everything that happened. Um, so you have to activate your account. You can also see the QR code, which somebody else could scan to send you XRP. And a cool feature is, uh, which you can show off right now, is also like the integration of the XRP toolkit. So meaning that you can also just go to the website XRP toolkit. And if you connect here, you can also select some app and then scan the QR code with your phone. So I'm just gonna see if, if there's some way I can fake the input here. But I'm probably not able to do that. Uh, so in a in a quick manner, so you don't have to wait. If, oh, I'm gonna just try quickly then. Okay, so never mind. I'm gonna show you in the next video. So yeah, that's basically how you can set up the Xam app, and it's rather easy. And yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.